welcome back at Peter Plays, who are playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching, thanks so much for liking the videos, and thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. Especially for subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get to 800 subscribers as soon as possible, so everyone that does subscribe, thank you so very much. Also, thank you so very much for leaving some nice comments down below. Uh, that really helps me to clear out this game even better, and speaking of clearing out the game even better, thank you so much for uh, filling in the poll. That will determine which game I will play next. Currently, I'm here in Faron, uh, near whatever this place is called, Harker Lake. I've got a bunch of pins on the map, which I think are caves. And currently, I'm in this one, which is called... Floria River Upstream Excavation. It's not even a cave. Okay. Um. Anyway. Interesting. So there's a... Okay. Ooh. So we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Oh. Okay, got it. Obviously, we need to use all of this or part of this to make that work. So, basically, we need to. This is the only gap we need to bridge. So, that is now close enough. So I would say that I would actually only need the stakes for now. So, what just happened? That is one stake. I had two, so where's the other one? Anyway. That is gonna cause me to bridge the longest gap. Alright, so you, it, it needs to be permanent. Fine. So I will move this. And there we go. So you only need the one stake. All right, cool. This is 
is actually cool because this is pretty this, this actually for me it acts like a bonus shrine it's like a puzzle thing oh don't i have a master sword that i can use yes i do could you stay still for just a sec There you go. So I think we covered it. Not to worry though. Because there's lots more pins on the map here. That I need to take a look at. So let's check. Uh... There's actually one pretty close to here, which is to my right. And in the meantime, Korok seat mask, but there's nothing going on, so this is nothing. So there's still all right now the corrupt mask is doing nothing so it isn't here oh there we go So how does this work, huh? I think it just works like this. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I think I needed 25 Korok seeds uh, for a shield stash or a bow stash. Maybe bow stash was even more expensive and was actually 35. I don't know. Uh, but there should be... Hmm. So there's, there's, uh, there is one right there. Well, no. So I'll pin that, and then... So first of all, let, let me check this. There is nothing near here, is there? Not even a Korok seed? Wow. And there we've got another cave. And this one is called... Discovery. The Faron Woods Excavation... Finra Woods Excavation Site, alright. So all of these things are excavation sites and all of these things are a bit of a puzzle. So there is a wheel here. Okay, once I stop, this is probably... 
yeah, all right, cool. All right, so there's carts. There's batteries and there's rockets. And there's wheels. All right. I think two wheels are enough. Maybe even one is enough. I think that ought to do it. So apparently... Alright, so apparently... This is a bit... Oh! Look at that. I'm ferociously hunting these monsters down. Right. So that's the second excavation site. And there were more to come. So there's another one. It's pretty close by. I will her. Thank you very much. And there's the boom key that I needed to know about. Woods excavation site. All right. So this is an interesting one. What would happen if you if you breach them, right? How do you even open this? What's the mechanic? I have no clue what the mechanic is. So you've got, again, batteries, you've got stakes, you've got cars, you've got rockets, which I could use to actually fuse. This is something? No, it isn't. Uh, okay. Oh, is there an opening in here? Yes, there is.
All right. So I already have the bubble gem, which is interesting. So what would happen if you breach if you breach this? Wait, there's like hmm. Where is where are you? Right, so it's it's nothing to do with electricity. Oh wait. There's like three lot maybe that's it, you just need to run and and and, and um Right, alright, so Okay, cool. So you need something. Sounded like beetle there. Um. So it was actually the intention to breach them. And just for funsies, I can squeeze in there. All right, it's raining out there, but I'm clearing cave after cave after cave, so that's good. Uh, any other caves in the absolute vicinity? Let me check my map. So there was a, a blue one that I pinned over there, which I'm absolutely not sure about. And then the green and the purple, I'm a bit more confident. And there's a yellow near the coast as well. All right, cool. Alright, so the blue one might actually be quite accurate. many <laughs> so 
first of all, um, second of all, uh, and third of all, So, um, let's go into my bow inventory, because I can drop two, I can drop that one, then I can take this duplex bow, and this duplex bow. Well, that's an arrow, okay? That's also an arrow, but there was another duplex bow here somewhere, there we go. Alright. And an arrow. I can score some arrows here. All right. Uh, so now I'm a bit disoriented, or not to say completely disoriented. Like, where did I? Where did I come from? Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sick. I'm totally not ill. With all that fighting, I don't even know if my uh, cave pins are still on the map. I mean, uh, the ones from the cherry blossom. Right, so that's the Lissalfos over there. So I'm not seeing any cave at all here. <laughs> For a second I thought this was it.
pretend my sensor is not going off, so... We're probably not even near a cave. Okay. Then let's go to this shrine and check where the green and purple marker lead me to. Will I be in a cave? No, I'm on a hillside. I think I see it somewhere. Okay, that was a waste. There is a Sundalian here. Alright, now let's go back to the matter at hand. Zelda is flying through the sky. I'm pretty much certain indeed that is Zelda. There's and, and who is that? Aha, that is uh, Farosh. Alright. So I'm going for purple first. I was kind of running in between two. try and do is get up here now I can get a look at the other surface all right so it's a bit far away I'm saying that somewhere in there should be a... okay. Oh wait, might also be in the middle of the tree. Okay, no. Oh wait, got it. Alright, so now I remembered that I thought, most likely, the green and purple are actually one cave, which is interconnected. So maybe it might make more sense to try and look for the green entry, because the purple one is a bit of a mystery. I'm pretty close to my red or uh, purple pin, but I'm not getting any uh, blue P alert. So 
I think my cave pins are gone. But again, I'm not hearing anything. Again, pretty close to the place that I pinned, and there's nothing. Mm. So, for now, that's a mystery. So, the yellow one where did I put the yellow one? Near the coast. Let's travel to that shrine and dive down. Put a travel medallion in here, that's good to know. Let's try and, and avoid the Gleo that's over there. That should work. Worthwhile to touch down on top of these rocks. I'm not spotting anything here. That was a Koroxy, but it isn't. There's nothing up here. We know that now. Good. Alright, so there's a dude there. to you oh is that already the cave ah all right hmm 
Ah. Oh. An opening in the ground north of here. Given that we have already surpassed the half an hour mark, we should look for that next time. Uh, for now, let's return to that camp. Path in the ground north of here. Well, that's a Korok seed, I guess, up there. But uh, yeah, we'll start f looking for that uh, next time. So for now, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Leaving some nice comments and filling in the pool. And I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.